Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and I'm here to show you how to import a contact list inside sendmails.io. So head over to list and click on list over here. Now, once you reach here, click on create list. This is where you can name whatever you want. So I'm going to name it as test list and the default email is going to be my email through which I'll be sending to the subscriber of, you know, this list, but you can change the from email and from name whenever you want from the campaign. This is just the default email and default name that we want to set as of now. So I'll keep my default name and default email and the default subject line. I can keep it as hello there, but I can change it whenever I want. If you've already filled in your contact information in the setting page of sendmaze.io, you will not have to fill it once again. So you can just avoid that if you've already filled in. Otherwise, you will have to fill in your company's information to align with GDPR rules. So once I scroll here, I will get an options like send subscription confirmation email. If you want to enable this, this will send a confirmation email through which they can just click on the confirm button and they can subscribe to your email list. And once they are subscribed to your email list, you want to send a final welcome email. You can enable that and you can customize your email as however you want. And whenever someone unsubscribe from your list, you can create a template for that as well. And you can enable this to send the unsubscribe notification to your subscribers. So I'm going to disable everything for now. I'm going to choose use all sending servers and click on save. That's it. This is how you create a new list. Now click on test list. And this is what you'll be getting as an interface. Now, there are multiple ways through which you can enroll contact to this list. Number one is by manually enrolling each and every contact one by one. So you can hover over here and you can add a new contact from here, or you can just import from a CSV file that already contains all the relevant columns. Or you can make use of the campaign APIs, which you can see over here on the left hand side. So you can use campaign APIs to integrate with Pabli, Zapier or any custom application through which you can enroll your subscribers to sendmaze.io over here. Not just that, you can create web forms or pop-ups to capture the leads and enroll them into the list. So here you can see you can create an embedded form. So I can go over here. Let me just quickly show you how does that work. So this is the embedded form. I can copy this over here and I can paste it inside my website to capture the leads information. And if you don't have a website, don't worry about that because we also give you a form. So this is the subscription form that you can share it with your subscribers and they can fill this form. So you just need to copy this link, send it to your visitors and they just need to fill in this form and they will be automatically enrolled to this list. And if you want to customize anything, you can do it from here. But let me just quickly show you how it is going to look like. If I just click over here, look at the form. This is the form you'll be getting and you want to customize it. You can do it from here. When you go to manage list field, you can see all the columns that you have as of now, email, first name, last name. And if you want to add more columns, you can easily do it by clicking on new field. So for example, I want to add one more attribute called as age. I can just select it from your age and then I'm going to give it a tag called age. Now I want to add one more gender, so I can name it as gender. I want to add it as a tag of gender. This is a unique identifier that we'll be using while creating our spreadsheet. So make sure you're giving the right and relevant name to your tags. Now one more is going to be the country. So I want to add one more for country and this is the country. Let's just add one more, which is going to be the industry. So industry, and I'm going to name it as, and once I click on save changes, okay, I'll have to set a default numeric value. So I'm going to keep it minus one for now. And that's it. So I've just added four more columns over here. And now if I go to add a new subscriber, I will be able to see those four additional column over here, age, gender, country, and industry that I've just added. And I can personalize my email campaigns with these liquid tags as well. 
Now, how do I import these contact in bulk? Just prepare a spreadsheet that have these columns. It should have the exact column name, email, first name, last name, age, gender, industry. How can you double check whether the column name is correct or not? Go to manage list field and over here in the right hand side, this email, first name, last name, age, gender, country, industry. This is exactly what you need to put in over here. Once done, you can just download it in the form of CSV file and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it as test generic list and I will save. Now going back to this, I will import the subscriber by clicking over here. So I click over here and click on choose the file. This is where I'll have to import the test generic list that I've just created. So click open and click on import. That's it. Within a few seconds, it will import all the contacts. Now it's done. So I'm going to go to my view all contacts and look at this. All my subscribers have been enrolled. Now some of them might be invalid emails. So how do I validate my email list? Go to email verification and you can integrate any of your favorite email verification software. So choose your email verification software from here and click on start a verification process. And it is going to take out all the invalid emails so that you don't get bounces when you are sending email to these people. Now it is done. I'll click on done and let's just look at the statistics. So six of them were invalid email and three of them are valid emails. So we will only be sending emails to these valid emails. Now, if I go to view all, I can see which of them are invalid email. This is an invalid email. Hence it is saying undeliverable and it is not going to send email to the undeliverable emails. It is all automatically has gone to the unsubscription list. Now, once you have created a list and imported the contacts, you can also start creating segments. Segment is going to help you create smaller modules based on your list. For example, if I go to segment and I create a new segment, I can create a new segment based on whatever condition I want. So I click on condition and all the guys who have age above 20, I can choose it from here. And then since these are guys, so their gender should be male, right? So male above 20. So this is a particular segment that I can create and I'll click on save. And everyone inside that list is going to be automatically enrolled to this segment. Let me just quickly show you that. So once I open this, all the guys who have age above 20 gender male is automatically going to be subscribed to this list. Now, instead of using the entire list, you can use this segment to send hyper personalized email to this segment. Now you can also enroll your contact using our campaign API. We have a complete documentation over here. So you can go to this API docs and you can make use of API endpoints and the token to enroll contact inside sendmaze.io. If you're already using Pabli, Zapier, Integromat, you can make use of that to enroll subscribers to sendmaze.io. So that is it for today. If you have more questions, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer all your questions. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.